Hello and welcome back to the Seleno campaign in combat mission Rome to Victory. So after a, in my opinion, rather lackluster start into the campaign, we now have a really cool map. Um, we have to clear a route through this valley, which will lead obviously to Seleno. And obviously there's this huge bottleneck here. And as I understand it, the Germans have their anti-tank guns trained on that. So basically our force is split in three. We have the force that goes through the valley in order to actually clear the route. And then the other forces are still on the high ground and we have to position them in such a way that they can give fire support from the edges up here and up there. So basically we have to clear all the obstacles from up here, spot them, clear them, and then move the force through. But if they get destroyed here, obviously the whole um, the whole path is blocked, and I don't think I can move forces from the high ground. Well, maybe I can move infantry down here to a degree, but it, would, it certainly wouldn't be uh, easy. But this cliff is so steep that I cannot move any infantry down from up here. So, uh, as I said, I split my force up. There's one infantry company down here, and a large part of the tank force. And then each of the two fire support positions have a platoon of tanks. I put the tanks that still had a lot of AG ammo left up here. Each has a platoon of Vickers HMGs, which so far I haven't actually used all that much. So they still have a lot of ammo. And scouts as well as artillery spotters. Uh, so one scout platoon and one artillery spotter team is on each of these overwatch positions. And what I will do first is, um, these guys will not move at all. Because as soon as I go around the corner they'll be blown up, I think. So instead, what I will do is move the artillery spotters and the scouts into position first here to see if I can spot anything. And then what I will do here is basically the same, only here I put the platoon that only has the one vehicle left. And I, I'm doing something that is maybe kind of gamey uh, in the sense that this doesn't have a lot of cover, although I can obviously go like um, hull down here quite easily and slowly go towards the edge, kind of hull down with my tanks and blow up anything that reveals itself, kind of slicing the pie as they say. Um, but there's not that much cover here, so kind of what I'm doing is this um, steward will do like a, a short run here and then go back down and I hope to kind of attract some fire maybe from anti-tank guns and reveal their positions early, so I can then take them out one by one. There will be preparatory artillery. Now one thing I find kind of annoying, and I hope this is just a temporary thing. Now I used to have four batteries of priests and two batteries of heavy guns. One second. And um, a tactical map, yeah, here. 100, four um, batteries of 105 millimeters of that, and then two batteries of heavy guns. But, when I look at the Divisional Artillery HQ, you now one of the batteries of heavy guns is gone. I don't think I spent all the ammunition. I used them for preparatory bombardments last scenario, but I don't think I spent all of the ammo, to be honest. I mean, they have quite a bit of ammo. I didn't shoot 82 rounds of these. So I hope I will get them back. Maybe they come in as reinforcements and they just didn't tell me in the briefing. I hope so. I hope I didn't uh, like save up all that artillery ammo and then they take the guns away from me. So we will see. Maybe I'm just out of contact and they will come online later. That might also be the case. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. The rest of the scout platoon here. Let's see if we can... Um, you know, uh, take some um, fire. Hopefully not knocking it out, obviously, but in the sense that they reveal themselves and then I duck back down into cover. And here comes the artillery. There are some relatively... Oh, there's fire, see? There are some relatively obvious positions, like up here, where I just think they will have art um, anti-tank artillery, yeah. which I pre-bombard, as well as this uh, orchard line. It's, uh, because that I basically bombarded this last position here, which might be hard to target otherwise. And then all the... Oh, here we go. Okay, now you can return. 
and then all the uh, tree lines that uh, overlook the bend in the road. Machine gun full setup. This really is a cool scenario idea in terrain with the valley and you see the artillery landing down there. So these tanks should be pretty safe here there. Oops, hold up. The tanks should be pretty safe here because they are uh, hull down. Gun is pretty far away and we can just shell it with HE. That guy probably has his ears ringing. That's some good hits. I'm pretty sure that should be it for that gun. So now we need to find more. For that I will move um, the infantry closer to the edge here. I've, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the other infantry company is on top of here, so I can get more, um, because there's more cover up here, I can get more fire down if I need it. We are gonna do the same thing up here now, scouting ahead a little bit with the steward. Steward 5, steward 3. I'm gonna assume that this gun is destroyed because we. There, look at that, that was a direct hit. The steward will drive up here and look down for a bit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so there's another gun there. I don't know who spotted that, we'll check that out later, but that's the next one to get the HE treatment. I wonder if I can shoot at that from here if I put a tank here. That being said, that is a bit risky. Then again, I bombarded this area. This would be the other one where I could get shot from, I would say. So yeah, I'm gonna try it with a tank. So, let's play peekaboo with the Germans to see if we can attract more fire. Observer team. Actually, from here you can't see that much due to the heavy vegetation. Ah, okay. Huh. That's actually the first time that I've ever seen the AI pushing an anti tank gun. And it looks wonky. But yeah, let's, uh, they seem to be out of position, maybe due to the artillery strike, so let's try to take them out. Maybe I will actually have to bombard them from up there instead. But then I have to move the tanks up more and that might be risky. Then again, if they deployed God knows where, it's um, better not let them get away. I hope they don't have any tank on here or something. Then again, I would have opened up on the steward earlier. Over there, the tanks are also getting in position, but this position seems way less valuable than this one, to be honest. Although that might change as we progress to this area. But first things first. No fires so far. It actually made me nauseous a bit. And they bent the gun, okay. I don't think the AI will try to retrieve that, to be honest. And uh, to be honest, I don't really care about uh, the crew much. We can mop that up later with infantry. Um, but the gun is down, so that's important. The question is now, do I pull back the Shermans just to be safe? So these guys are in position here, so if there's like a gun line or infantry line here, we can suppress that. Now I did check it and I can move infantry through here, I believe. So I could... Okay, there's some fire coming. Uh, so I could move my uh, infantry company that I have up here, down here. Uh, very good, we are attracting more fire, that's good. But for now I'm gonna just scout along this edge just to see if we can... Uh, 
you know, shake some more German from the tree. I really want to blow up most of the positions, especially anti-tank gun positions, before I move through the bottleneck down there. But yeah, probably uh, my next step after scouting at least to, to up here uh, will be to move my infantry company here to get them into position. And then we'll see. We did take some machine gun fire, but not near enough for them to uh, stop scouting forward. And I didn't take any casualties. And didn't spot them either. First infantry platoon is moving up. First to this area where we will organize them, and then I will advance through this covered area into here. Where my scouts are checking out if there's any Germans up close. Now the crew of this anti-tank gun that we bombarded apparently ran out here. Down the hill, and then we lost track of them. So that seems to be knocked out, at least, but obviously we need to check that forest, which is horrible terrain to fight in, especially for Commonwealth infantry troops, which don't have that many, like, automatic weapons. But, yeah. Sometimes you have to deal with that kind of thing. Maybe I will move another um, steward here as well. So far it seems to be clear. Germans are still in overwatch over there. But so far no fire at them and they don't see anything either. Moving up the infantry company HQ as well. Platoon will form up here. And I'm moving up one of the scout stewards. Or record steward. That's a German spotting round, 80mm probably. So they want to target my position here. I wonder if they're going for the tank or something they spotted earlier. Maybe one of the stewards. Usually the AI targets the first thing they see. Okay, this area seems clear. I wonder where their spotter is. They could actually be there. That would be fuck me up. Maybe I should check that area out. Scout teams moving ahead. But yeah, I need to get the first infantry tree platoon here relatively quickly. Moving up the infantry platoon number one. Oh, that was relatively close, if off map. Yeah, this uh, whole plateau is in our hands, I would say. Maybe I should try to get an observer here. Ah, uh, no, but... Yeah, this whole... Like, this gives you a lot better overwatch positions. Until, I guess, you get to here, maybe. Uh, here it gets interesting. But yeah, as a flanking position, this is of course nice. Okay, I think this whole edge is clear, so we can move the infantry into the forest. I think they might be gunning for the steward. So we'll move that. I uh, quick moved the infantry into this area where they should have cover, and then we can move through the forest, either through this angle or this, or both. Although I do expect at least some machine gun fire when they crest the hill here. Although so far nothing. Also attracting no fire. Ah! Did they throw nade from here? Okay, they got one of them. Uh, of course, it's the assistant squad leader. Uh, so there's Germans here? I guess I'm gonna shell that? Maybe that will do something.
I'm also moving up the Stuart Recce here to maybe spot them, but they're in shop. You hear that? That wasn't me. I think they have another gun here somewhere, maybe here or I uh, don't there. I bombard well, I bombarded that as well. Maybe there's a gun up there. Yep. What, the question is, what is it shooting at? Probably the tanks, I'm gonna guess. Okay, so I have to um, look uh, or to turn them into this direction. I think that's where the gun probably is. Oh, shit. Okay, so that thing scored a hit, finally. Killed, um, a radio man? Oh, one of the guys who doesn't have a job, apparently. So, okay, that tank is... I mean, uh, it seems like the gun's still working, and it popped smoke. It must have come from somewhere up there, I think. Or possibly there. So, over here... Ah, okay, we actually spotted fox hills. Well, one fox hill, really. I will move up a Sherman tank and deal with that. Here it comes. We're gonna um, fire at these infantry positions over there from uh, the other Overwatch position with the heavy machine guns and tanks. This is why I like this map. Combat Mission is a 3D game, but I think not enough scenarios really take advantage of that. But this is a really 3D kind of scenario. Still shelling over there. But not really fire for effect, just spotting rounds. Here's my infantry coming up. Or oh, the second platoon, I should say. The others are still uh, combing through the forest, which seems clear. I think the second infantry platoon will check out this position if there's anybody alive. Let's see if we can get them out of there relatively easily when they're suppressed like that. That didn't sound like it hit anything. Getting ready. Spotted something there for a sec. Okay, we're under fire from there. That's where they are. I also hear German machine gun fire from down there, but I think that's directed at my forces in the forest. Oh, they're retreating, that's good. So we got them out of this position at least. Anyway. I think um, that is enough for today. Next round we will hopefully find whatever machine gun shot at my guys here, then we will clear this first roadblock, and then we would start moving our uh, exploitation forces from uh, around the bend.
down the road. And yeah, that's the plan. Hope you enjoyed it as always. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.